Flipper is becoming increasingly popular in integrated pest management, and for a good reason. It offers a natural and effective way to protect your crops without harming the environment. But having a great biological pesticide isn't enough. To get the best results, you need to know how to use it correctly. So we invite you to join us on a quick e-learning tour. If you apply Flipper based on the following four pillars, using it will be a great success for you and your crops. Let's start with the first pillar, which is about the correct timing for the application of Flipper. Flipper is ideal for integrating into a complete program for your crops. As with every other part of this program, there's a perfect time to use it. And with Flipper, that's right at the beginning of the infestation, when you detect the first adult whiteflies, thrips, aphids, or mites on your crops, or when mealy bugs or woolly aphids start to become active. This differs from conventional insecticides and is extremely important to implement because if you wait too long, you won't be able to stop the pest. In addition, keep an eye on your hygrometer when spraying. The best time of the day is when humidity is high, so the spray solution dries slowly. Now, let's talk about the second pillar, the ideal water and tank management. Flipper performs best with soft water. Hard water contains ions like calcium and magnesium that affect the efficacy of Flipper. Water quality and specifications can vary from one country to another or even from region to region. Therefore, please refer to the local recommendations on using water softeners to reduce the negative impact of ions on Flipper's performance. You can find a list of these at the end of this video. If you have additional questions related to this important pillar, don't hesitate to contact Bayer Crop Science Customer Service. Once you are clear about all the specifics, you can prepare the tank mix. As a rule of thumb, 1% flipper is sufficient for your tank mix with a total hardness of up to 500 parts per million, or in some countries, 15 dH. Furthermore, make sure to follow these steps. Add 50% water, add softener if necessary, stir well, add flipper, and finally, add the rest of the water. Don't mix flipper with products that are not recommended by Bear Crop Science and tank mixes. But you probably knew that already. Let's move on to the third pillar, the best spray techniques. Flipper works against sucking insects such as white flies, thrips, aphids, and mites, among others. Being a contact insecticide, it needs direct contact with the insect it is supposed to fight. The measures you must take to ensure good coverage mainly depend on two factors. On the one hand, the type of crop and its growing stage. On the other, the location of the pest. If it's hiding under leaves, you should spray with a high volume of water and ideally air-assisted. If it is sitting on top of the plant, use a lower water volume and classical spray. Remember, good contact is good efficacy. It's that simple. Nevertheless, to avoid drift, don't use droplets of less than 250 microns. Last but not least, the fourth pillar is about beneficial management. Flipper is a biological insecticide acaricide based on unsaturated carboxylic acids. It does not have any residual side effects and is safe for beneficials, but it's crucial to manage them correctly. It is advised to use Flipper before the release or occurrence of beneficials so that the spray solution has had a chance to dry when they appear. Flipper is compatible with bumblebees and honeybees. Nevertheless, to follow a good agronomic practice, avoid the application while pollinators are actively flying in the crop. And there you have it, the four pillars of success for using Flipper effectively. By following these guidelines, almost nothing can go wrong. Your crops will thrive and your profits will soar. Happy growing.